Hi, I'm John and welcome to my channel. In today's spray paint art video, I'm going to be comparing MTN Hardcore, which is made by Montana Colours, against Montana White, which is made by Montana Cans. So the MTN Hardcore has a high pressure valve system and has a gloss finish to it. And the Montana White also has an high pressure valve system and also has a gloss finish to it. The caps I'll be using on the cans are the stock caps. So the MTN Hardcore comes with a standard skinny cap and the Montana White comes with a level 3 medium cap. I'll be painting both paintings on glossy paper. I'll be using different, a few different size lid stencils. These are just off the top of food tubs. I'll be using this cone shaped food tub with a hole in the bottom. I'll be using this piece of card with a hole in the middle. I'll also be using some weights, these are to hold the stencils down while I do the background. And for the texture in this video I'm going to be using some magazine paper. And lastly the cords I'm going to be using which are pretty similar to each other are for the MTN Hardcore I'm going to use Iceberg Blue, White, Glacier Blue and Black. And for the Montana White I'm using Black, Nemo, Ancient White and Tropicana. I'll also list the colours in the description box below. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get the lid stencils. So I'm going to be using the same lid stencils in each of the paintings, same size ones. And like I said I'm going to be using magazine paper for the texture. I'm going to do three different types of texture using the magazine paper so each plan is different. So now we've got the lid stencils in place we'll get a colour and we'll just spray round them give you an outline and we'll go to a white a Montana white so the first thing I've noticed between both of the brands is the smell the MTN Hardcore isn't that strong it smells a bit like the MTN 94 that I tried in the last video like a vanilla -y smell to it whereas a Montana White is a strong smell in paint I think that's because it's a synthetic based spray paint so now we have the outlines done for the planets we'll take the lid stencils off so now we have the outlines done we'll fill the outlines in with some colours so we'll start with the MTN Hardcore As you notice, with the high pressure spray cans, the valve systems, it pushes the paint out a lot faster. So I'm going to be pressing the cap down a bit lighter here, so I don't get too much paint in a small area. Now we'll cover it with the other colour. Now a bit of black. And a bit of white. So like I said I'm going to be using magazine paper to do the texture So what we'll do is we'll get the magazine paper And we'll just crunch it up like this To get some crinkles in it, some lines to produce your texture with And we'll open it up And we'll just place it on the wet paint and give it a light rub And then we'll pull it off to make your texture So I really like how that texture's come out. So we'll go back to the highlights and shadows. So we'll press the cap down lightly for the highlights. Considering this is a high pressure valve system spray can, it's not laying too much paint out, which is good. That's giving a real nice mist there. It could be the standard skinny caps on the cans. It's reducing the flow of paint coming out. So I'm really liking this valve system at the moment on these and the caps. Really nice to press, really nice to use a valve system. The cap presses down lightly and that doesn't produce much paint. So I'm really happy with AM caps and the valve system at the moment. So I'll move on to the Montana White now. We'll do the same on this planet.
got an old cap there clogged a bit it's only because I'm using old caps on these that's better if this would have been a new cap then it wouldn't have blocked up I just haven't cleaned it that good so I'll put the other colour on top now some black and some white so I might have put a bit too much paint on there because as you can see we have a black side separating there so I'll give a paper again crunch it in the same way like that place it on the wet paint to make some texture this might not make very good texture because I've got a bit too much paint down so like I said the high pressure spray paint pushes more paint out I'm quite happy with the way that's turned now all I might do is just go back over in places just lightly so you can go back over if you do the texture once but just make sure you do it lightly so you don't mix all the paint up So I'm quite liking that one, liking the texture on it. So now we'll go to the highlights and shadows. So like I said, I'm going to be pressing the cap down lightly on this. And then to the black. So that valve system's working really well. I really like it nice and easy to press down doesn't let that much paint out just so I put too much paint down in this area if I'd have sprayed less the texture would have come out a bit better so I'm liking both these valve systems at the moment and the caps like I said the cap on this one the Montana white blocked up because I didn't clean it properly so it must have been some dried paint in it or something so that's my fault it's not the caps not working right so now we'll move on to these two here. Get a darker blue. Spray it light. Black. And white. So you can see that side separating it, but that's just because there's too much paint down there. Like I said, the high pressure valve system is pushing more paint out. So if you are using high pressure spray cans, just press the caps down a bit lighter when you're doing smaller areas like this, then it'll eliminate this paint separation. So what I'm going to do for this one is, I'm just going to crunch it lightly into a ball like that. So give you some crinkles and that, some lines. I'm just going to place it on. And I'm just going to press it down with my hand to make some texture. So we'll pull it off. Like I said, you can always go back over it if you want, make a bit more texture. So I like that one. So we'll move on to a Montana white. Spray it lightly. I have a Nemo over the top. I have noticed that the Montana White is a bit of a thinner paint than the MTN Hardcore. But that doesn't matter because sometimes thinner paints are good to use. So I'll just crunch this magazine up into a ball again. And we'll place it over the wet paint. We'll do the same as your one, just place my hand on it. And then we'll pull it off. Like I said, you can always go back and do some more texture. 
so I'm liking that one so I'll add the highlights and shadows to it first off the highlights and then the shadow and I forgot to do the highlights and shadows on this one so we'll move back over light spray with the white and the black for a shadow so we'll move on to the last one now these two here so we'll get the glacier blue and what I'm going to do is half of it and half there with the iceberg a bit of black and a bit of white And for this one, I'm going to fold the paper in half and then in half again, like that. I'm just going to get it on the paint and I'm just going to turn it. So you get some texture like this. So with the white, the white highlight. And then a black shadow so that cap's spitting a bit so all we'll do with that is just give the nozzle a bit of a clean to get rid of a build up of paint around the nozzle and that should stop the spitting issue so now we'll do the same on this get a Tropicana first and then Nemo and then some black and some white so do the same fold it up in half and half again and then the same as the other one we'll place it on and then we'll just turn it on the wet paint and then we'll pull it off so I really like the texture of this makes to turn in of the paper so with the white highlight and then a shadow on the black side so there are the highlights and shadows done on the planet and I'm quite happy with the way these brands are working at the moment I quite like the valve systems on them both and the stock caps are working alright there is a few spitting issues but to avoid that all you have to do is clean the nozzles off the Montana White is a bit thinner than the MTN Hardcore but like I said that can work as an advantage when you're doing your mist on your planet it's more transparent as you can see between this planet and that planet and both brands of spray paint has a nice glossy finish to it so what we're going to have to do now is leave these to dry so these may take 15, 20, 30 minutes to dry depending on what the weather's like where you live or you could speed up the process by using something to dry the paint faster. So for this video I'm going to be using a heat gun to speed up the drying time. So what you want to do is you want to hold the heat gun about a foot away from the painting. And don't hold it in one place for too long else the paint will start to burn and bubble. And also if you're using glossy paper and you put too much heat on it the paper will start to bend. So the paint's completely dry now as you can see I can touch it all it took about five minutes with a heat gun on and off so now the paint's dry we can move on to the next stage and now it's to put the lid stencils back on so we'll get the lid stencils and what you want to do is place the lid stencil over some of the shadowed area and some of the highlighted area we'll have that one there that one there and that one there I'll do the same on this one that one there that one there and that one there like so I'm going to be putting some weight on these lids just to hold them in place so you get no under spray underneath the lids and this is another reason why I say make sure your paint's dry before placing your lid stencils on because putting weights onto your lid stencils will push the 
lid stencil into the paint more. So if it's wet, you'll definitely have a ring around your planner when you take the lids off. So now we have the lid stencils in place, we'll fill in the background. So for this, I'm just going to fill both of them in for, with black for now. So spray around your lid stencil lightly so you get no under spray underneath it. So I'm just pressing the cap down lightly here while I do this, not to let too much paint out. And then we'll fill the rest of the sheet in. So I'll push the valve system all the way down here to let all the paint out. And as you can see, it fills the background up pretty fast. But it's not letting too much paint out, which is good. You don't want too much paint in the background, because when you start doing other stuff, if you have too much black down, the colours you put over the top will start seeping into the black, like separating, like you saw on some of the planets when I was putting the paint down. And also when you put the white stars in, a bit later on, if you've got too much black paint down, the white stars will just soak into the black paint. So you'll end up with not many stars in your painting. Or you might not end up with you might end up with none in there. So now we'll move on to the Montana white and fill that in black. So spray around the lid stencils lightly. So there's a few bits of spits for Miss Cap, so what I'll do is I'll just give it a clean off. So you just get an old cloth or something and you just wipe the nozzle clean. The build up of paint around the nozzle. And then it stops the spitting issue. So around these lid stencils lightly. Now we'll fill the rest of the background in black. So we'll fill the sheet in. So this isn't taking very long either to fill the back in. The background in. About as fast as the um, MTN Hardcore. So now we have both backgrounds black. We're just going to add a bit of colour to them. So what I think I might do is just add a bit of colour between each of these planets. So first off I'm going to use a Glacier Blue. I'm just going to kind of mist it. See what these caps are like for misting and the paint. So I'm just going to press the cap down lightly and just give it a bit of a mist. So I've got a bit of spit in from this cap. But like I said, all you have to do is give the nozzle a clean. So as you can see, a bit of build up of paint there. So I'm just going to get a cloth, clean the nozzle. And if you've still got a bit of build-up of paint around your nozzle, you can get something like a craft knife, and you can just scrape away some of the paint that's around the nozzle, that's causing the paint to spit a bit. So then it's clean like that again. So I'll just put a bit of colour there as well either side. So as you can see, there's no spitting now from the cap because we've cleaned the paint from the nozzle. So it's to avoid the spitting issue, just keep the nozzles clean. So now we'll add the iceberg blue to it and I'm going to do a thinner strip. So just press the cap down lightly. Even with this being a high pressure valve system in this can, these caps are really good for controlling the paint. The flow of paint coming out. I'm really liking it. I'll just put a line down there like that. So I'm liking that. And what I think I might do, I might just see how fine of a line I can get with these caps with a white paint. And I'm just going to do a line down the middle. So just press the cap real light for this. Quite like how that performed, really nice. Only pressed the cap down light, light didn't let too much paint out. I'm really happy with how that is. I'm just going to do the same here. So, nice white line there, and the white line there. See, nice and thin line there. 
not too much overspray really like how them caps and that high pressure valve systems perform to do that background so now we'll move on to the one montana white we'll do the same so we'll just spray the background as you can see this cap spit in as well so what we'll do is we'll give this a clean see so you can see the build up around the nozzle so we'll give that a clean we'll give it a bit of a scrape as well with the craft knife clean the nozzle off and if you are having spitty, spitting issues with your caps just give them a clean so then this one's clean again so that should eliminate the spitting issue so as you can see a nice fine mist there this is the advantage with a thinner paint gives you a nice mist on your paintings so I really like this mist on here I like the valve system and the caps on here gives you a nice flow of paint when you're pressing the cap down with different pressures so now we'll move on to the Nemo colour we'll do the same as this just spray a bit in the middle so it gives you a bit of colour varying So like that, that cap was clean so you saw there's no spitting. Now what we'll do is we'll do the same with the white line there and we'll see how wide of a line these caps produce. So I'll just press the cap down lightly. Oh no, I've just knocked that off. But it doesn't matter, it gives you a bit of texture in the background. So I'm not too fussed about that. I've just got a bit too close to the paint in it to wait with my finger. So just watch out if you're putting weights on as well. You get too close, you might knock them off. So back to this white line. So it is producing a wider line than the MTN Hardcore. That doesn't matter, it's still like it. So it's just a cap that's doing that. It's laying a bit more paint out, producing a wider line. As these are skinny caps, which will produce a thinner line and let a reduced flow of paint out. Whereas these level three medium caps We'll just let a bit of a wider line now, as you can see. So what we'll do now, we'll just do these two sides as well here. So a bit there, and a bit there. Bit in the middle there, bit in the middle there. And then white again. Like that. So I'm quite liking how that's looking. So what I'm going to do is just get the black and tidy it up a bit. So just give this nozzle a clean. What I'll do is press the cap real light. So I'm just going to fade the black in there like this. And then a bit here. It's up to you what you do with the background. I just want to show you some different things spraying with the cap. Done the black there, and we'll get the black with the Montana white and do the same. So I move fast over painting. And also doing this black here when I put some bigger stars in a bit later on in the painting, it'll show them up a bit more. So there's been a bit of spitting from the cap, but that's all right. Like I said, just keep the nozzles clean and then the caps won't spit. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one bit more last mist in here, just to blend the colours back in with this black. Not much. So we'll just press the cap down real light for this. With it being a medium cap as well, like I say, it produces a bit of a wider line. So it's going to go back over with a bit of black. Doesn't matter how much you do in the background, you can keep going back and over it. Doesn't matter. Like I said in other videos, there's no rush when you're making spray paint art. Just take your time. 
So now we'll move on to this one and do a bit of mist back into the into the black. I'll just do the same with this black. So I quite like how that background's looking now. I'm going to leave it like that. So now we'll move on to adding some small stars to the painting. So with the white, the MTN hardcore first, we're going to spray some on our fingers here. Like that. So once you've got a bit on your fingers, flick it away from the painting a few times. Get most of the paint off your finger and then flick the rest onto the painting. That way you won't get big white blobs that don't look like stars. So it's up to you how many stars you put in your paintings. You can put as many as you want in them. So I'm liking that. Nice amount of stars there. Now I'll move on to the Montana White. Same thing, spray onto your finger, flick away from the painting a few times, then flick the rest onto a sheet. A few more there, and there. So that's the small stars done. And as you can see, because I didn't put much black in the background, none of the colours that I've put over the top, including the stars, have sank into the black paint, which is good. So like I said, if you get any problems with your small stars st sinking into the black paint when you add them, that's because the paint's too thick for you put down in the background so now we've got the small stars in place we'll go ahead and place some bigger colorful stars in so the first tool i'm going to use is this piece of card with the hole in the middle what i'm going to do first is get a glacier blue and this is the reason why i've done these black here so when i do these couple of big stars they'll show up more so i'll spray a bit through there to give you a nice glowing dot I think I'll have one here. Like that. I'll move on to the Montana White and do the same. So. So one here. So it gives you a nice glowing effect there. And then the other one here. Like that. Now we'll move on to this for cone shaped fruit tub with the hole in the bottom and add another colour in the middle of this colour. So with iceberg blue in the middle. And then there. And then Nemo. So you just press the cap down lightly. This is a tool that restricts the flow of paint going out onto the paint so you don't get big white blobs of paint all over painting. So it's a real nice tool to use when you're making these stars. And also you can use this to add some white stars or some smaller colourful stars. So you can put like a smaller blue one there. Blue there. We can get the other blue. Put one there one there same over here and then the iceberg so the further you away from the painting with this the more like glowiness you'll, you'll have off it and the closer you are, the smaller the dot. What I think I might do is I might just add a couple of white ones in places. So I'll put one here. And I think just one there. 
And then the same over here, try and keep the paintings pretty much the same. One there, one up there. So there are the glowing stars added to the painting. And there's one more thing to do to finish these stars off. Now it's to get like a white paint pen or a white marker pen. And all we're going to do is add a dot in the middle of them. So it looks even better. Bit too much paint come out of that there. Bit too much paint out of that one, but never mind. You want them like that, small dots. Let's go to this one. There's not really much I can do about that at the moment. I could try and get it off. But I'm going to leave it like that for a second. So I'll go on to this one. Add the middles. You could also use this paint pen to put some bigger white stars in, just dots on the painting. To add a few more if you wanted to. Like I said, it's entirely up to you while you put in your background. So I'm liking them stars now with the white centers in them. I'm just going to try and get rid of some of this white paint to show you. So what I'll do is something like that happened. Is get a small piece of sponge or something. What I'll do is we'll try and soak some of this paint up. So just press the sponge lightly to try and soak some of it up. So as you can see there, we've got most of that white paint off now. So what I'll do is, I'll get this cone shaped food tub again. I'm gonna spray with Nemo. Back over the top like that. That's the beauty of spray paint. If you make a mistake or anything, you can easily cover it up. And then we'll go back to this white pen. We'll just put this dot back in the middle. So that's looking better now without a big white blob in the middle. So now we have all the colours in the background and the stars. We'll take the weights off the lid stencils. And now it's time for my favourite part, taking the lid stencils off and revealing the planets for the first time. So we'll take this big one off first. So just take your time when you're lifting them off. God, I want to really like that, I want to like the colours in them. Lift that one off, take your time. And I like that one as well. So when you're taking these lid stencils off, just take your time. I really like them too as well. Now the last ones. That one there. And that one there. And I really like them too as well. Real nice. That's the lid stencils off the paintings and I'm really happy with the way both of these paintings have turned out. I think they both look awesome. But as you can see, the Montana White is a slightly thinner spray paint than the MTN Hardcore. So the MTN Hardcore and the Montana White high pressure valve systems worked really well and gave a good control of the paint flow when pressing the cap down at different pressures. I really like using both the valve systems. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the valve systems and how far to press the cap down when doing different things in a painting. So moving on to the caps, both caps worked really well for making spray paint art. The Montana White stock cap did produce a wider line and let slightly more paint out, but that's because it's a different type of cap from the MTN Hardcore stock cap. 
There were a few spitting issues with both the stock caps. That could have partly been down to me using old caps that I had used before and not fresh new caps. But the issue was easily resolved on both the stock caps by cleaning a build up of paint around the nozzle then the spitting issue stopped. So all in all both the MTN Hardcore and the Montana White work great for making spray paint art and I really enjoy painting with them both. The Montana White is a slightly thinner paint than the MTN Hardcore but that doesn't matter as sometimes thinner paint has its advantages. It's just up to you which one you choose and which one you like as both brands would be ideal to use if you were just starting to make spray paint art. So I'll just give you a closer look of each of the paintings. So the MTN Hardcore first. Then to the Montana White. So you don't need to give these paintings a clear coat because it already has a glossy finish. But if you wanted to protect the paintings even more, you could just give them a clear coat to protect them. It's entirely up to you, but I'm not going to clear coat these because they already have a glossy finish. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and share the video. It'd be very much appreciated. Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel and like my content, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. It'd be very much appreciated. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope you can join me in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.